To create this design, you need to add a rounded cube. And I will go with 4 subdivision count. Then go to the edit mode and select the center edge and control B add bevel on it. Then select these words and move them along the Z axis. Then scale down this, then scale down the object and rotate it into 15 degree angle. Then move it along the X axis. Then go to the edit mode, add a few loop cuts. Then turn on the wireframe. Then set the origin to the 3D cursor and control A apply the rotation. Then go to the edit mode, select everything, mesh, symmetrize, take the symmetry. Then select these faces and right click bridge faces. Then select these faces and delete them. Select these faces with the shift select and delete them. Then select everything, mesh, symmetrize. Then dissolve this edge loop. Then select this edge loop and fill this gap with the bridge edge loop. Then select these top words and then scale them along the Z axis and make them flat and adjust the position of the words. Then select these edges and use the set flow on them like this. Then use the edge slide on this edge loop. Then select these edge loops, then dissolve these edge loops and then select this edge loop and control B add bevel on them. Add 4 segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. Then use the knife tool and create cut like this. You need to create right topology at here. Then dissolve these edges and create new cuts at here with the knife tool like this. Now here dissolve this edge. Select these words and press J to connect them. Then select these edges and use the edge slide and move them along the Z axis. Now adjust the position of the words with the edge slide a little bit to maintain that curve. Then use the knife tool and recreate these cuts. Then dissolve this edge. Select this edge loop and deselect some edges. And then use the edge slide add there. Add new loop cut and connect words. And add few loop cuts like this. Then select everything, mesh symmetrize. Take the symmetry. Then add the sub modifier and share smooth it. You will get this kind of form which is looking really well. Now go to the edit mode, use the knife tool and create straight cut like this. Dissolve these edges. Then here also same thing. Create cut and dissolve edge. Then select these faces with a shift select like this. Then turn on the extra mode and deselect these kind of faces. Select these faces and then shift D to duplicate it and press P to make a separate object. And then isolate this object. And then here, use the knife tool and create cut like this. Select these faces and delete them. And select everything, press M and merge by distance. So double words will get merged. Same thing you need to do at here also. Create cut, select faces and then delete them. Then select everything and use the merge by distance. Then use the insert operation on it. And here, adjust the position of the words little bit. So we can avoid the overlapping of words. Then select everything and then extrude along the normal. Add little bit of thickness. Give the proper offset and turn on this offset even. And then add loop cuts like this. Just select everything, mesh, symmetry, stay the symmetry. And now you can see we are getting this kind of design which is looking really well. Now we will add simple detail on it. Select these faces, then increase the selection and then use the insert operation. And then right click, use the loop tool, circle option, turn on the individual origin and scale it down. Use the insert operation, then delete these faces, select these edge loops and right click bridge edge loop. Then add loop cut like this. We got a one circular detail add here. And same thing we need to repeat on the inner part. Use the insert operation and then use the loop tool, circle option. Then scale it down and then Use the insert operation one more time. Control X to dissolve the faces. And then extrude it and scale it down. Then use the insert operation one more time. Move it along the Y axis. Then delete this face. Select the edge loop and use the grid fill add there. And then select this edge loop and control B add bevel on it. Then select this edge loop. Use the edge slide on it. Then use the loop tool on it. Just create a little bit of detail add here. Add one loop cut, select these spaces, then extrude them along the Y axis and create this kind of detail. After creating details, select everything and take the symmetry. 
so you will get this kind of design you can see here i'm getting this kind of game console design in this way you can create it so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel bye bye see you next video take care